right, Colonel Davis. So here we are again, another successful mission. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate that. I ask you this every time, but I have to ask again. What does it feel like? I know each launch is different, but tell me about today. Today, it's relief. No kidding. Uh, this is one of those rockets that fought us throughout the count. Um, you know, I'm, I've mentioned a couple times at L minus 25 minutes, we outbriefed three anomalies because we hadn't had time to outbrief them yet. We were busy the entire count. Um, so, yeah, it's just. Ugh. Absolutely. Congratulations. So, you said on Thursday at the press conference that sometimes these rockets and, and these spacecraft, they want to stay here on Earth where gravity doesn't like them. <laughs> Looks like you had that situation today. This we're rocket so liked that pad, and I think it's because it knew the significance of that pad. Absolutely, it yeah. really is. So talk about that, the bittersweet moment that today was. Yeah, bittersweet's been used a lot today. You know, that pad's been around since the late 50s, uh, launching reconnaissance satellites, right? So it has a, a connection to the National Reconnaissance Office. So to see it fly out today, that's, you know, it's kind of sad. And I think that Delta IV Heavy knew it. Yeah, absolutely. As you said the other day too, though, with an end of an era comes new beginnings. So I know there are some exciting plans in the work for some big lift rockets that we're going to be using. How does that factor into, we're, we're really working hard on a proliferated architecture that has big and small, multiple orbits, commercial government. How does all of that play for you on the launch side of the house? You know, <laughs> how it plays for us is uh, excitement because we are ever ev evolving. You know, if you look at the launch service enterprise as it is today, even five years ago, it was completely different, right? So that keeps it interesting. It keeps us engaged and excited because it's never the same, right? I mean, you go from ELV to EELV to, you know, what we're looking at in phase two and phase three, and we have to stay on our toes. And that keeps the team excited. That keeps it new and exciting. Well, you guys pivot better than any team I've ever seen. So let's take a quick look back at this year. We launched two earlier this year where we used a booster. Then we travel halfway around the world and we launched two within three weeks of each other in New Zealand. Then we come here, launch the final Delta Heavy. And then there are plans for later this year going to the third continent that we've been on this year. I mean, my goodness, how, how does the team keep that pace? Yeah, I think uh, motivation and excitement. I mean, it, it's, it's just exciting and, and motivating to know what we're doing because it's, we're not launching rockets. Yeah, it's cool, right, to do those kind of things, but we're not launching rockets. We're putting capability on orbit to serve this nation, and this team knows it, and that's what keeps them going. So we've got some new um, young talent joining the NRO, both through in our military uniform services, also in civilian. So, what would you say to them, characteristics you're looking for in a mission manager? In a mission manager, hmm. Let's see, uh, initiative, um, reach out, be, be willing to stretch yourself. Be willing to go a little bit farther than you feel comfortable without going too crazy, right? We take Captain Shane. He's a fairly young captain, right? He's got all kinds of leash because he knows if he needs help, he just comes back. He gets that help and then he presses farther. So motivation and energy, it really does take energy, right? This is not a young person sport. It's a marathon for sure. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So there's just a couple of things That's that good. I would think of. That's great. Well, final question. I mean, what's next? I hope a well-deserved break. Um, what does your team usually do after such a success like today? Do we sleep? <laughs> yeah, what's next tomorrow? I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. Well, congratulations to you and the team on a very amazing job today. Thanks a lot, appreciate it. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We have ignition, 2, 1, Best and liftoff of the last West Coast United Launch Engine Alliance four, Delta IV Heavy Rocket carrying NROL 91 for the National Reconnaissance Office.